Hello, my name is Kevin Selvage and I'm the European Regional Development Manager for LEADER based in London in the UK. And I'd like to welcome you to this short video from LEADER, an introduction to waveform displays. The waveform monitor originated as a special type of oscilloscope used in television production applications. It is typically used to measure and display the level or voltage of a video signal with respect to time. The level of video signal usually corresponds to the brightness or luminance of the part of the image being drawn onto a regular video screen at the same point in time. A waveform monitor can be used to display the overall brightness of a television picture. Or it can zoom in to show individual lines of the video signal. It can also be used to visualise and observe special signals in the vertical blanking interval of the video signal as well as the colour burst between lines of video. The waveform can be displayed in the form of a millivolt scale, an IRE percentage scale, code value in decimal and code value in hexadecimal. The waveform display can be displayed as Y, C, B, C, R, colour different signal designation and each of the individual components, the Y, C, B and C, R, can be switched on for individual analysis. The waveform display can also display the three primary colours used in video processing, green, blue and red. And the luminance channel Y can be switched off and on depending on the operator's analysis requirements. The waveform display can also display RGB, again with the Y channel luminance being switched off and on depending on the operator's analysis requirements. The waveform display can also present a composite view, an encoded video signal such as NTSC or PAL video that includes horizontal and vertical synchronisation information. The waveform display can also be configured to show blanking, whether that be the vertical view, horizontal view, or both. The video signal can also be displayed in parade and overlay mode. Overlay sees the three components overlaid on top of each other and Parade sees them displayed individually side by side. The incoming video signal can also be filtered with the addition of a flat or low pass filter depending on the operator's analysis requirements. The incoming signal can also have a gain magnification applied to allow the operator to analyse in more detail areas of the image that are of interest to them. As well as vertical sweep display, waveform displays support a horizontal sweep that can be magnified for detailed analysis and can also display blanking information. So let's take a look at how we use a waveform display in a production environment. Here we have two camera setups. On the left, a correctly exposed camera, and on the right, a camera that has been overexposed. We need to adjust the camera white balance before shooting in each location. This is achieved by checking the GBR balance using a grayscale chart on a waveform display. If the camera is incorrectly set up, details of the clouds are lost and the image is overexposed and the entire waveform is lifted up and not all of the dynamic range is used. As can be seen here, from 0 to 30% isn't used. As well as allowing you to correctly expose a camera, the waveform display allows you to correctly match two camera sources, as can be seen here by the simultaneous picture and waveform display from two camera sources, thus ensuring that the two cameras are perfectly matched and reducing the requirement for corrective measures in post-production. All of these waveform display features 
are available on all of the Leader Zen series products. If you would like to receive a copy of the accompanying white paper to this video, please use the contact details currently displayed on the screen. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me.